When you buy a chainsaw, it is important you learn about how it works. Read through the operator's manual carefully after you have watched the film. The greatest risk when working with the chainsaw is injury due to kickback. Kickback occurs if you apply the saw in what is known as the kickback wrist sector on the top of the guide bar nose. The guide bar will then climb upwards and the whole saw will be thrown backwards by the force of the rotating chain. This is why the chain brake is one of the saw's most important safety devices. The chain brake on all of John Sarid's saws is activated in two ways, either through the force of the saw movement following kickback, known as inertia activation, or by your left wrist striking the kickback guard. The best way of preventing a chain malfunction is to ensure the chain is properly tensioned, well lubricated, and in good condition. But if the chain were to derail or break, there is a chain catcher underneath that prevents the chain from being thrown back in an uncontrollable way. As part of your daily inspection process, check that the chain catcher is undamaged and replace where necessary. The right hand guard on the rear handle also ensures protection for your fingers. To avoid unintentional acceleration, there is a lock you must keep pressed in when you accelerate. When you release the accelerator and the engine returns to idle, the chain slows as the power transfer is made via a centrifugal clutch. The chain must be still when the engine is idling. If the chain does not stop, the idling setting needs adjusting. The stop button is also part of the safety components, as you must be able to shut down the engine quickly. When you use the saw, it is important that you wear the proper clothing, even if you only intend on cutting a little firewood in the backyard. You should always wear a pair of safety pants or chaps to protect your legs. Safety pants and chaps from Johnsarid have built-in cut-resistant material with long fibers that can slow or stop the chain if it penetrates the outer fabric. You should always wear a pair of heavy-duty boots or shoes with steel toe caps and built-in saw protection on the top of the foot and a deep-treaded sole for a secure foothold. You should always wear a thick, long sleeve shirt or jacket and a pair of work gloves to protect your hands, particularly when tensioning the chain. Always wear an approved protective helmet with visor and earmuffs. Personal safety equipment does not eliminate the risk of injury, but it can reduce the severity of injury if an accident happens. You must always have a first aid kit with you. Keep it close at hand in your chest pocket or in your logging belt.